Puma Suede 305, and I am back in the goddamn basement on this fine, uh, what day is it, Tuesday? Yeah, we'll go with Tuesday <laughs> on this fine Tuesday, folks. Um, Puma News, let's, let's get right to the shit. Um, uh, I haven't really seen too much, but I've seen that they are, are releasing a mint uh, classic. It'll be $75.00. It is definitely my speed. That's my type of shoe. It's just basic. It, the The mint is really like a real like kind of like a, I don't even know what, like I guess you could say a mint blue. It's just really basic. But that color, man, is just like, it's to me, it's, that's just like the perfect, it's a perfect shoe. It's going to look good on your feet. If you want to go somewhere and then it drops April 1st, I believe. And it's just a perfect shoe for that time of year. I really love that shoe, and I'm definitely going to get that shoe. That's a shoe like I would even get. Well, no, I can't while I don't get two, but that's a definitely a shoe that I like a lot. And um, they are they actually have like a, a extra thirty percent off. Um, I don't know how long it's for, but I know uh, it was for today. And I actually got two more pairs of shoes today. They were and they only were twenty twenty five dollars a piece. So. I couldn't really beat that, especially for two pair of shoes. But we'll get into that discussion a little later as far as do you guys count the um the Puma, the Smash, the Smash, uh the, the two V? Do you do you count the other the other kind of like the lower level Puma suede? I the the two that I got are they look really nice. They look dope. Uh hopefully they look they look even better in person. But uh, I don't. I don't know. That's that's like question. That, that's something you guys can leave in the comments. Do you guys count those as like uh like a puma suede or is those like the unks, like the uh the uncle that get like uh fly at the uh <laughs> at the Fourth of July barbecue? You know he go to uh, City Trends or he go to uh. <laughs> He can go to City Trends and get his little outfit, man. Get his little Dada outfit, a little Fubu outfit, and then he get drunk and then fucking uh, over and undercook the barbecue chicken and shit. Or is them like the unks to where like you know that's the uncle that smoke crack and pump gas? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know which unk those shoes is for, but I got a two pair, so I'm gonna be one of them. So uh, y'all gotta let me know if those shoes are cool to wear, cool to rock, or or do or would y'all kind of like lean away from those? And that's pretty much what Puma news, shipping news. Hey, I got five shoes on the way. Who the fuck knows when they are gonna come though? Because I looked at one of the damn uh, FedEx uh, shipment things, shipment uh, little invoice things, and it actually. I'm hoping it was wrong, like it just kind of like got messed up, but it showed that it shipped in like a suburb of my city and then shipped back out of state. I don't know what that was about. I don't know what that's for. Like my shipping dates have like fluctuated from March 13th to March 15th to March 11th. Like they keep going all over crazy and it's like, it's like. I don't know, man. It's, and then I, I still have to get them to my P.O. box. I hope nobody down at the damn post office don't knock me off for a pair. So I just really don't like shipping to my P.O. box when it has to deal with Puma. For some reason, like Puma and my and my um, my P.O. box don't get along. Anytime I ship anywhere else is fine. But I can't just keep having like FedEx just like coming to my house, coming to my house. I'm still kind of like in the hood. So <laughs> I don't want nobody getting up the wrong idea and stuff, man. Uh, so that's pretty much with, with Puma news and shipping news. Um, today I will be, I'm going to uh, do a remix of a shoe that I, I showed on my last channel, but my last channel got messed up. So I'm going to reshow that shoe. I could have showed a different shoe, but uh, I just said, let me just kind of get all of my shoes out the way and just kind of have it kind of in a line right now until we get shoes in. So I'm just going to redo this shoe. This is an Animal Crossing Puma suede that I got. And this shoe has a lot, a lot of detail. That's the reason why I was kind of down here, like looking around, like what shoe could I do? Or I like, I, cause I did some shoes on my last channel that I haven't done on this, this, this uh, channel yet. And like I said, I have brand new shoes. Like these are brand new. I never worn them, but I have brand new shoes that I, um, I still can show on this channel that, um, I haven't shown yet, but I'm like, let me just do, let me just get these old ones out the way right now. And then I'll, um, 
work my way back around and get some of the other shoes that I haven't shown yet either. So this is the Animal Crossing. We'll get a little closer. Like I said, detail wise, this shoe, I think, I believe this shoe outside of the um, the perks and minis has probably the most detail as far as like they gave him a little bag with shoestrings, the Animal Crossing inside, leaf, just the colors, that gun bottom that I always like, the bottom of the shoe. Everything about this shoe just had a lot of detail, man. And I really like this. I, I I like this shoe, but I was just I, I was real hesitant to get it. And I actually got this shoe for a really good, good price. I think I paid like sixty, sixty dollars even almost for this shoe. <coughs> Had like the little leaf right here. Shout out to everybody that got like that nasty cough, man. It's not the, the, the bad word. We ain't gonna say the bad word, but it's a little little funky little cold going around. But uh this shoe is really nice, man. I like this shoe a lot. I've had it for a while. Now, I've had this shoe almost for over a year, probably. I haven't worn it yet. Well, since it came out almost, but shout out to that shoe. And uh, current event news, I think everybody kind of see what's going on with John Morant right now. And I got like two different takes on, not takes, but just I see it a little different. Because I see it in a way of when you're young and you get money like that, you you really do think you're invincible. Because you, I think he's 23 years old. If you look at down the line of a lot of guys that – some people just get it early. Like if you look at like a, a, a Steph Curry or um, just a lot of people, they just kind of like a lot of the younger guys, they just kind of get it. And like even at Zion, like he don't really get in no trouble. He just eat every goddamn thing around him, like buffets, rallies, when he eat every goddamn thing around him. He gonna eat his way out the league, but he ain't hurting nobody, or he ain't really. He just hurting himself, like with the food. So I don't know. But uh, some most of the, a lot of the younger guys get it. But when you always see the ones that don't, even in entertainment too, like a rapper, uh, singing or acting, it's just kind of when you get that much money you kind of start thinking you're untouchable. And then when you start to get in trouble and you really see you don't get in that much trouble, it's kind of like you always think that you can just keep getting away with stuff. So I think that's where John Morant kind of failed or where it's kind of like, okay, I wasn't this highly touted basketball player anyway. I had to kind of fight my way into college. And then I went to a little college. And then I, these everybody kind of got on to me like my second year in college or whatever. So then he kind of blew up. And then he gets drafted high. Then he gets to the league, and people kind of have questions on him, his knee and all that type of stuff. But then he shows, like, damn, I'm a, I'm about to be the face of the NBA. And I think that it, it kind of overwhelmed him a little bit to where it's kind of like he didn't really – he don't really know how famous he is. And, and then, like I said, it, it, it's kind of shown, like, you know, he does stuff, and then he don't get in no trouble for it. And then, of course, the people that 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 raised them, they weren't even they probably didn't even expect this to happen. So they're not even ready for it yet either. And then you have to also think like, you know, when I saw somebody say this today that, you know, sometimes in like uh, black households that uh, whoever make the most money, they call the shots. It's the kind of the money, power, respect type of thing. Like you get the money, you get the power, you get the respect when it never is supposed to go like that. It's supposed to be you get the respect, then you get the power, and then you get the money. It's supposed to be like that, but it, it, it kind of switches around. I'm not even going to say just in a black household, just, just in how just stuff goes, period. But it, then it's kind of hard to discipline somebody when they bought you a car or, discipline, or or not even discipline, criticize, or they bought you a house because you don't want them things to stop. But if you really love that person, you will let them know, like, dude, you act like a fucking fool out here, man. You, you about to be a billion-dollar player, a billion-dollar man, and you out here, like, trying to be, like, show guns and be NBA young boy. And then if you, even if you look at NBA young boy, he's 23 too. He finally got it. All the trouble he was getting into, now you haven't heard his name at all. Now he's stopped the violence. I'm just trying to stay at home. I'm trying to be with my kids. I'm trying to chill now because it took him a while to understand, like, hey, man, I can't keep doing these things because eventually I'm going to get myself in some trouble where I can't get out. And then people aren't going to feel that sorry for you because a lot of people out here got nine to five jobs and they didn't have the talent that you had to be in that position. So 
I'm not gonna really tear him down too much because, like I said, I understand it's the it's the money because you can get some grown people. Look at some people right now that hit the lottery that's grown in households and kids and grandparents. You give them that money right now, they gonna look nuts. A lot of people <laughs> they, they gonna start getting high and they will be alcoholics. They gonna be gambling more. It's just that because that money it wasn't earned, and then like I said, it comes out of the blue, and then you can really see people's true colors too. So, like I said, you can't really criticize that man because he's young with the money in there. Like I said, you get some old school with some money, they're going to be out here smoking crack. Like, <laughs> I ain't going to name nobody, but you know you know all the people that are smoking crack that was famous and stuff. So, I'm not going to criticize him too much, man. Hopefully, he get it, and uh, hopefully everything works out for him, man. And um, like I said, you can't really tear that man down too much because you have to kind of put yourself in his shoes at 23 or 24 or whatever if they gave you that much money. And you weren't, and you really, it's almost like he hit the lottery because he didn't, he didn't know he was going to be this type of player, man. But like I said, this is Puma Sway 305. I will get back with you guys Friday to remix some old school shit. Hopefully we get some new stuff too. But as we always do, like, share, subscribe. But you guys know my slogan. I do not care if you like, share, or subscribe. But if you want some more free shit, <laughs> we got to get to 100 subscribers. So please like, share, and subscribe. Side note, I think I'm going to do a giveaway on Instagram once I get 100, uh, 100 Instagram subscribers. So, hey, go follow me on Instagram, Pumasway305. Peace.